everybody, and welcome to episode one of Occam's Razor. That's yeah, a horrible f- intro. What am I doing with my life? Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode one of Occam's Razor. I am Chris, as best, uh, your host and narrator for this whatever the fuck this is. Today I'm going to be looking at a video called Five Scary Videos of Ghosts and Creepy Mysteries by Nukes Top 5, which is uh, an excellent channel. Go subscribe to them immediately if you haven't. Um, they're, they're awesome over there. Um, I don't know if it's, multiple, if it's multiple people or if it's just one dude, but they do a great job. Um, their presentation is great. Their, their, their production value is not bad. I mean, for a, for a, for a countdown YouTube channel they're not they're not that bad not as cringy as a lot of the the, the mojo top tens and the, the, the most of the other countdown videos at any rate i'm going to be going through the actual uh, six clips that they have in this video i'm not sure why they called it top five scary videos of ghosts and creepy mysteries because maybe that's one of the creepy mysteries why is there actually six clips in this and not just five let's just go ahead and get started geometry sucks this first clip is a guy uh, in a abandoned warehouse, uh, supposedly, uh, assumably, presumably, all by himself. Um, that's mistake number one, I think. You, just because you go into a place like this by yourself never means that uh, you are alone. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> that's a little editing joke there. Um, we got it really, really slowed down here. Right over here in this area, uh, this is where it's going to be. I don't, you know, it looks like there is already a, a shadow of something back there. It could be a shadow of fucking anything. I mean, there looks like there's a shadow of something right there too, but that's not the focus of this video. Um, uh, for another note I'd like to make is this place is dilapidated and in a, a perpetual state of degradation. It's fucking, it's, fu it's a mess. It's falling apart. So there could be something hanging on the wall back there. There could be wallpaper. There could be paint peeling. There could be any number of things causing this shadow to happen at this given point in time. Uh, now what's interesting is, and something that you always need to try and make note of to yourself when watching these videos, is, is the camera... Notice the point of view. Is the camera stationary or is it moving? In this, he is slowly going to be moving forward. Um, by the end of this shot, he's going to be standing about in this area. You'll see this pole pan fairly close in front of him. So um, let's just go ahead and keep it going here. Now, not a whole hell of a lot happens. You can already see as he's moving, there are several you know you can notice as he's moving that the shadows and everything are also adjusting another hint that this is probably not going to be what you want it to be as a as a believer it's going to be something very very easily explained it's going to be something that's very very natural now here is what is in question and what is so mysterious about it is this this little square this little rectangle of shadow shading right here is 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 fucking nothing it's a goddamn shadow it, or it's a board leaning up against that it's 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 fuck all it's nothing what is interesting is this little bit above it that seems to have just appeared and will actually not be there in a moment now going back to what i said earlier look at all these spots of paint peeling you know um, um it, it, any number of things could cause that kind of shape to appear anywhere in this building at any given point in time. Look, there's no, there's nothing in any of these windows. All the doors are gone. I'm sure that this place has a decent breeze going through it. I'm not sure what level in it he is, but if he's up on a second or third level, there's going to be a breeze going through there fucking constantly. So at any rate, we'll keep playing it here and you can see, yes, yes, there's, 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 it, it definitely does look like a person, but that's just our pareidolia kicking in right there. We we see we see that 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 silhouette shape of of a human body, and we instantly think it's a it's a, it's it's a human. It's got to be a human. I, I I that's our our symbolic and social brains going. 
that is a human being. I recognize what that shape is, so that must be what it is. And that's such a, a, a erroneous way to think. And, and especially in a situation like this, instantly seeing that shape and going, must be a ghost or a must be a shadow person or must be any number of supernatural or paranormal things you can think of. It's a interdimensional fucking alien, you know, any, anything. The title of the show is Occam's Razor. The simplest explanation for this right here is one, I've already explained it, is fucking wallpaper or, or paint peeling off there, and it happens to be flapping there just for the split second that he pans back a couple times and then falls off and you're left with the rectangle shape. The other thing it could be is another person. God forbid there be a second fucking person in this building at the exact time this dude wants to be there. The reason I think that that is also extremely plausible is think about the type of person and the mental state they would have to be in to be in that place. Not only from the person who's filming here, he's got his own reasons for being there, but if you're not there to film, you're not there as a photographer looking for cool places to shoot pictures, if you're not there to investigate the paranormal or the supernatural, what would you be doing there? You're, you're fucking homeless, you're fucking crazy, or both? Those are the best options, I think. And so... This guy is, or or a fucking criminal, could be. This could be, you know, a meetup spot for deals to go down. You know, you just you just don't know. And assuming that that is, see right there, assuming that that is supernatural or paranormal right off the bat is just not the smartest way to look at something like this. The reason I pause it here is, look, that rectangular triangle shape or triangle. The reason I pause it here, look, this is the rectangular shape that we saw earlier that had looked like there was a head or something above it. Now he, look on the right side of the screen here, he is right up next to this pole, so his position in this room has shifted significantly, which has also shifted that shadow. Now, does that mean that there was not a person or a head poking around a door or something back there? No, it very well could have been a person, a homeless person, a crazy person, a drug dealer, any number of people in a situation that is walking around this building and sees a dude with a camera and doesn't want to be on that camera is just going to peek their head out and GTFO. Now, the thing that is curious about that and might make that a little bit less likely is at full speed, this shot is fairly long, 10 to 12, up to 20 seconds long. And somebody that's just standing there staring at a guy with a camera for that long is probably fucking crazy and doesn't realize that it, it's another real person in there and just gets bored and moves on or something like that. Um, but then again, that's just as unpredictable as, as a crazy person that would see another person in there and run straight at him and ask for a fucking tire iron or a straw, please, or something. I mean, there's just no telling what a person in that situation would do. The least likely thing, I think, if that was another human being back there, is that they would just poke their head out, stand there perfectly still, and then decide to disappear 20, 30 seconds some odd later. Not very likely. Not the most common of human behavior. Um, which leads me to believe that it's a, a play of shadows, because he is moving through this place that obviously has a lot of... of, of light penetrating it in places where light usually wouldn't penetrate so that we're looking at the inside of a building and our brain is used to interior shadows on an inside setting and we see a shadow that looks like a person that's moving around or, or, or not moving around rather and we automatically think it must be a person but what you don't realize is this is not technically inside a building it is a a, a skeleton of a building there could be any number of things that environmental things that caused a piece of paper or piece of wallpaper to peel off right at that moment and hang down and then peel off again. But at the same time, I'm not going to say that it is definitively that because I wasn't fucking there. I don't know. Um, the chances that it was something like that are pretty significant. However, going back to the other thing I said earlier, it doesn't fucking move. It just it just stands there. Watch this. So right there, there's there's nothing there. And you can clearly, clearly, clearly see the, the, the square shape of something there. Now, here's something I didn't notice before. Look at this shape right here, right on the left side of the screen, about halfway up. It looks very oval in shape, and it's in a different position. Let's just, 
for the sake of argument, let's just assume that that is something back behind there in this little area, hanging or leaning up against the wall, and as the cameraman moved towards it, it shifted the position that that thing appears at from his point of view. Now, 10 feet back, that might have looked up above that little black rectangle thing, giving it the shape of a human. Again, very, very interesting footage, but again, I'm saying again a lot, aren't I? Fucking idiot. It's pareidolia. It's it's our brains thinking that there's a person back there when there's something else back there. Um, I mean, there's no... Whose who's shoulders look like that unless you're wearing a, a fucking suit or something like that? And where's his neck at? I, I just, it's... It's... I don't think it's a real person. Um, at any rate, I'm going to move to the next video because this one's pretty silly in my opinion, for, for somebody to look at that and go, ooh, it's a fucking ghost. No, it's not a fucking ghost. It's not a fucking shadow person. It's a goddamn shadow. I don't think it's redundant. All right, this next clip is from an Expedia commercial, and um, it's actually very, very, very common to see these types of things on the internet especially if you have not worked in the field of digital media, have not studied the way that digital media works, the way cameras work, specifically digital cameras. And if you don't have this kind of information and you don't understand the technology behind it, then things like this seem very, very, very weird and mysterious. And, and I will admit, if, if I was ignorant of the way digital cameras work, I would guarantee you I would find this to be I would immediately label it it's fucking it's paranormal this, this bitch is a time traveler or some shit like that now let me explain th this this is a commercial for Expedia and at one shot there is a guy standing up leaning up against a wall um right here now what happens is this lady here Wearing the black, looks like a jacket, black pants, black shoes, and a, a dress shirt underneath, wearing sunglasses. On the left side of the screen in her reflection, she is going to turn her head to her left, towards the camera. And you will only be able to see her do that in the reflection. She will not do that in her physical person. Now, it's very, 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 very unnerving to watch this. Especially, like I said a moment ago, if you don't understand what is going on here now it's very very simple and it's probably either just a a continuity error that was not caught or it could be an intentional continuity error on the part of the specific editor who did this as a fucking easter egg to himself as a joke to himself i i could see that very easily but also it could have just this could just be a completely clean shot when a digital camera is shooting frames each frame will start in the top left of the resolution whatever the resolution is at that top left pixel and scan all the way down in, in a line of pixels and then start at the top again and do the next one and do the next one and do the next one all the way across the screen and it'll do that for one frame and then it'll do that for the next frame and then the next frame and the next frame to get a film effect a, a, a moving film effect so what is happening here is they have slowed the frame rate down so much and probably edited and adjusted this bit of digital media so much that there is a very distinguishable change between that swiping from the left to the right of the media itself, of the file itself. And so on the left side of your screen, you're going to see what happens in real time before the rest of the screen catches up to it, which is exactly what happens here. I guarantee fucking to you, if this didn't cut off right there, I'd love to see the, the unedited footage because I guarantee you, this is where it cuts. I guarantee you that after this, you will see her look in that direction. This is not a, her reflection has a fucking mind of its own and is looking this way. It's just, she's looking this way. You see the reflection of it first because it's on the left side of the screen. That's it. There's nothing supernatural or paranormal about this. Moving on to the fucking next one. Uh, it's a trilby, not a fedora. Okay, so this one is shot uh, in St. Louis, Missouri at an old house. 
First things that need to be noted about this clip is it is shot on a very old flip phone. Um, so the, the, the quality is uh, fucking dog shit. And what happens here is she's just, or whoever the, the, the camera person is, is scrolls across and it looks like it appears that there is a shorter person wearing some sort of top hat in the frame and then she pans away and then immediately pans back and that figure that appears to be wearing a top hat is no longer there. First things first, I want to again reiterate on what I just explained to you. This is an old phone. It's not designed to take high quality uh, digital videos. Um, and if you watch this in real time, she is moving the camera pretty quickly when she pans across this area of, of the house, across this window. There is an old man or an old woman there with a top hat on, and she scrolls past it quickly because probably she doesn't know this motherfucker, and he doesn't know the camera person, so they want to pretty much avoid each other. So she scrolls past this this person, and you can clearly see, oh, it's so, it's so beautiful in its simplicity. You can clearly, clearly, clearly see latency of the the frames from one to the next. I mean, you could see it's just it's it's obvious if you know how the, this stuff works. I think, anyways. Again, I could be completely wrong on this. That could be a fucking ghost. I don't know. Probably isn't though. I'm imagining an old man. Um, just who the fuck wears a hat like that indoors? It's an old dude, right? An old dude who doesn't really want to be on camera, doesn't get that technology, doesn't get kids these days, or what the fuck ever, sees some kid come in there with a flip phone, waving it around, recording shit, way too fast for the frame rate that that thing can support, and then gets the fuck out of that person's way because he's a polite old man. That's why when she pans the camera back, he's not there anymore. It's not a fucking ghost. It's not a fucking shadow person. Um... But if it is a shadow person, they're extremely stylish because that hat was dope. Wow, timing's always on your side, huh? All right, this next clip is... Uh, this next clip, probably staged. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, I find some, some certain aspects of this to be very convenient for the people who are... They are paranormal investigators. They are here to look for a certain thing. And they are not only doing that, but they are doing a live stream of their investigation, we'll call it. I'm sure that's what they fucking called it. So, 18 minutes, just a mere 18 minutes into their investigation, they get some of the most incredible footage that I've ever seen in, in, in any sort of paranormal situation. Alright, these uh, these two, it's, I, it's a boyfriend and a girlfriend, or husband and wife, or brother and sister, I don't fucking know. They're Hispanic. And they are in an ab old abandoned log cabin out in the middle of nowhere, supposedly. I don't know. It could be in their own fucking backyard. It's not explained. Um, they, they hear some noises. They hear some humming and some kids laughing or some shit like that. Um, whenever there's a situation like this and there's people investigating an abandoned place in the middle of the night and they hear people laughing or children laughing... I'm, I'm sorry, but there's there's probably 99.9% .9 of the time nothing paranormal going on there. There's probably some fucking kids in the bushes outside there having a laugh that they're freaking out this, this paranormal investigation going on in there. And then, you know, they know that if they're caught, then that ruins their little gag, so they fucking stay hidden. I, you can listen to the audio on here, too. Um, the humming is not very... Uh, convincing it could be a fucking it sounds like an animal to me they begin to hear something something <laughs> yeah Dude, that's that's a it's a fucking that's a bear a quarter mile away growling or something like something just <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a fucking animal. The, how how could your ears hear that and, and immediately think ghost of a human or something like that? That's just 
It doesn't make any sense that you're you're fucking you're fishing and pulling that reel real hard, hoping it's a fucking fish, and you're pulling in a goddamn boot. Like, shut the fuck up. That's so stupid. Look at that shot right there in the first place. They are not. Look at that. What is that? Probably a mile and a half, two miles away. They are not that far out in the middle of nowhere. Who knows what else is even closer than that little series of lights over there? I mean, they're hearing what they are perceiving as voices and it's very very muffled very mumbled it makes way more sense that it's just from a far away a, a, dis a pretty good distance that somebody is maybe saying something loud and and it's it's muted or muffled at some at some point between where it is is generated and when they're receiving it in their ears it just again I wasn't there when this was recorded. There could have been this mumbling noise right in their fucking ears. I don't know. But from the microphone on the camera that they're recording from, it sounds like it's far away. And they don't say anything in the video about, oh, that was right in my fucking ear. Or they, they blew that hum up my ass or something. It just doesn't happen. If this is legitimate, it's very, very compelling. But... Again, I'm going to call into question the legitimacy of it simply because of how fucking unbelievably convenient it is that only 18 minutes after they start a live streamed investigation, that this incredible shit just happens to happen. Um, and it's not even, there, there's no mention of it being a notoriously famous haunted place. It's just a fucking abandoned log cabin and somewhere, wherever the fuck they're from. At any rate, they pull out, and this is a very popular thing for for paranormal investigators to do, is to use a a Xbox Connect camera because they are designed to pick up different light than our eyes can perceive, and not only that, but designed and programmed to recognize human shape and human bodies. So. One of the reasons I want to also one of the reasons I'm definitely going to call bullshit on this is that they don't show any sort of evidence that it's not faked. They just present the clip and that's it. They don't have an, an adjacent camera next to it that shows that in, in real time or in, in regular vision, there's there's no people there. They don't show anything other than the clip. And it's a clip of a clip of the what the Xbox Connect is picking up. Okay, so here we are on the clip. It does have something show up that is very, very interesting. Um, again, if it is legitimate, it is very, very compelling evidence. However, the chances of it being legitimate are fairly slim, given the circumstances and the lack of any sort of frame of reference outside of the filming of the screen connected to this Xbox Connect. He intentionally turned the camera, the large, the large monitor to that view a mere second before those two figures walk up there. It's almost like it was timed fucking perfectly. Come on, people. If you're going to fucking fake something, at least fake something better than that. And then you can see the fucking figures walk out of frame. Like, do, do ghosts need to walk in and out of door frames like that? Or can they just appear and disappear? Why did it have to walk in and walk out? Because it was a fucking person. And their fucking kid. Jesus Christ. It's so fucking dumb. So here's the, the next clip. They move the camera to a different spot, and then a motherfucker runs in front of the camera. Somebody just casually walks in front of the camera. He runs around, waits, turns around the corner, turns his light to the direction the motherfucker would have ran, and then turns the camera after his fucking buddy is, is long gone. If I was that person and holding that camera, I would have had that camera already turned around that corner when I walked around that corner. I would not have kept it in the direction that is not where the fucking thing ran to and then shown a flashlight in the direction the thing ran to and then panned over. That's fucking retarded. 
anybody who is in this situation is is at all experienced in these kind of investigations would not have fucking done that he was checking around the corner to make sure his buddy wasn't visible and then he turned the camera it's so fucking obvious jesus fucking christ next it's probably just some weirdo all right this one's uh this one's kind of similar to the what was it the second clip where um it's more than likely just another fucking person not a ghost nothing supernatural nothing paranormal this photographer martin Novaez, um is walking around what is supposedly his favorite um one of his favorite places to shoot and he for some reason or another uh decides to make take a video and show his his friends or his family one of his favorite places to shoot to show him around him he's not actually at the location this day to shoot anything he went by himself without anything other than his cell phone camera with no other cameras no other lightings no other equipment by himself to this location specifically to take a video showing the location that he likes um now if the story was a little bit different like he was scouting this location or something like that it would make a little bit more sense but that just seems like it's fucking made up this motherfucker went here with a buddy of his to catch something paranormal and try and get views on his fucking channel or something at any rate even if that's not the case it, it is blatantly obvious that in this clip there is a person in here okay if this dude who's running around with his camera is a photographer and he's there specifically to take a video to show his friends or family the the place that he likes to take pictures one of his favorite locations to shoot at why the fuck does he go into a pitch black room with a flashlight to try and show it off that's fucking absurd absolutely retarded absolutely ridiculous this is either a real person a crazy person homeless person or, or somebody in there who gets irritated and gets up out of his chair and walks towards whoever's bugging him or this is completely fucking staged which i would put my money on the ladder uh and one of the reasons i would definitely put my money on the ladder is he just freaks out runs out look at he's not even really running that fast like if you were a not a not a paranormal investigator um, not used to these kind of situations and when we're in a scary abandoned building at nighttime looking around with a flashlight and you saw something like that would you run and then 10 15 paces away stop or slow down and then turn around and look with your flashlight in your camera and then mosey on or would you fucking book it out of there like it's the your life depended on it it's just it's just not very believable if you think logically and you think about it it makes no sense fucking bullshit don't sweat the small stuff okay so this is the last clip on the tape um or on, on the tape how fucking old am i this is the last clip on the uh the video that that nuke put up nuke's top five put up um and again it's the sixth i think yeah it's the sixth clip on here so numbers are hard um anyways that doesn't matter um the first part of this i'm going to easily explain as a a overexcited brain seeing something you know it's it's akin to seeing you know it's it's the shroud of turin it's 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 a cloud that looks like mother mary you know it's it's our brain filling in the blanks and saying oh i recognize this so that must be what it is um yeah a ghost no come on get get fucking real uh at any rate we're gonna go to the part of the clip that uh one of their viewers took actually took a snapshot and sent it to him and said uh what the fuck you guys didn't notice this shit and there is a a humanoid figure appears to be in a window now you can't see it in this clip because they're uh the quality of the cell phone that they're on is fucking garbage um but somebody takes a snapshot of it and then sends it to them 
Um, now, shady already in the first place. This this person that's viewing their live stream could have just, within a matter of seconds, taken a screenshot of their thing, edited this little bullshit in there with his fucking thumb, and then sent it to him and go, Oh my god, you guys missed this ghost? You didn't even fucking see it? Oh my god. Stupid. Now, the intriguing part to me about this is that they go up to, supposedly, they go up to the window, this, okay, they go up to the window where this room is and it's very high off the ground. And this figure is well over halfway above the, the center of the, the, the window frame. He would have had to have been seven, eight feet tall to do that. Now, what I think this is, is again, old abandoned building. You can see it in some of the other windows earlier in this, in, in other areas. There's smudge. The glass is fucking filthy. This is just a dirty goddamn window that looks like a fucking person. That's that's it. I mean, there's there's nothing about that other than the, the generic silhouette shape of a cloaked thing that makes me think ghost or person. Could be a very tall person in a cloak playing a prank on these two Chinese people, too. That's that's also more likely than it being a shadow person or a alien in a cloak or a interdimensional being uh, playing a prank on these fucking two dumb Chinese people. They're not dumb because they're Chinese. They're just dumb people. Why are you going into an abandoned building in the middle of the night? Go fucking read a book. Jesus Christ. Okay, now the interesting part, as I say that, about this video is they actually go up to where this this room is and um they see two sh black shadow things form out of the middle of nowhere now this is live streamed so it wasn't done it's not an editing trick although it is possible that they could have preloaded some sort of program and then hit a button on their phone and it shows shadows on the screen and it has compensation for the motion of the camera all that stuff is entirely possible now looking at the quality of the resolution or the 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 the, the video itself here i don't think that they did that but just to throw it out there it is fucking possible um so this is what they see see a l nothing there nothing there nothing there they look outside, they look back, and boom, there's there's a fucking little black shadow thing in the corner that wasn't there two seconds before. Now it's not it's not moving, it's not threatening, it's not growing, it's not it's not doing anything to justify their reaction to it, in my opinion. It just, if I was in their shoes, and I saw that in the corner, I would have to squint my eyes and go, is that a, is that a fucking squirrel? Is that a raccoon over there? Is, is that my friend, uh, Pao Ming Chang? Like, it, it just, it just, their reaction is so unbelievably over the top. I get it, they're probably already freaked out because they did have a viewer of their stream send this picture to them and say, oh my god, there's a, you know, amazing thing you guys missed and then on top of that they come into this room and see that if that picture is true that motherfucking whatever it was had to have been super super tall that can be pretty scary for anybody much less a short Chinese person not saying they all are but typically genetics you know it happens um, so outside of that this is this is interesting the only thing that makes it really interesting to me is that it is a completely closed-in cement room and the only source of light is their flashlight and they've already panned across this area multiple times and that figure was not there so something happened to put that figure there um either it's legitimate and there's something really fucky going on there which that'd be dope not gonna lie um, the most logical explanation in my mind is, is, so it could have been a little animal. See, look, nothing there.
Something there. Nothing there. No, I, I mean, an animal. I'm, I'm guessing it would be some sort of little animal that um, was curious enough to see where the light source was coming from and who was producing it. But then the second that they, the two humans, saw it and freaked the fuck out and started making a whole bunch of noise, it bolted or hid somewhere in that room. Um, that would probably be the most likely situation here. But, um... I don't know of an animal that has that kind of dimensions unless it's a a feline, a large feline facing directly at you or some sort of, of larger rodent or, or or dog or something even smaller perched up on its hind legs. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one's very interesting. Um, I wish I was there to see it. That would have been dope. Probably would have shit myself. I probably would have shit myself. What probably would have made me shit myself is having these two fucking little sissy boys scream like little girls. Man, well, my shit would have fucking drained out my asshole. <coughs> Don't you do this for a living and you get that freaked out? Fuck me. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> 